German officials are demanding far-reaching consequences for a leaked conversation about a possible attack on a bridge linking Russia to occupied Crimea. The discussion between German generals was published by the Russian state broadcaster RT. The officers discussed the potential use of German-made long-range Taurus missiles to attack the Kersh Bridge. Germany's defense minister Boris Pistorius has accused Russia of conducting an information war aimed at creating divisions within Germany. This is clearly about undermining our unity. It's about splitting our domestic politics apart. And I very much hope that Putin doesn't manage that and that we remain united despite any disagreements over the Taurus issue and all the questions that need to be answered. In the end, it's crucial that we remain united and do not allow ourselves to be divided by Putin. That's exactly what he wants, and we need to stand united against that. NDW's political correspondent Emily Gordine is with me here in the studio. Emily, tell me uh, more about what we heard from the German defense minister there. Did he give any additional details of how uh, this conversation was wiretapped? No. Essentially, he is not commenting on the in ongoing investigation. He also has not said whether anyone will be fired. So far, that has not happened. Um, essentially, he called this recording um, a hybrid attack aimed at disinformation. Um, ultimately, based on this recording, Russia is claiming that Germany is planning an attack on Russian targets. That is simply false information. This meeting, the recording, in, in this recording, you hear German officials talk about um, a meeting that they will have uh, in the future with Boris Pistorius, the German defence minister that we just heard, who wanted a deep dive into the Taurus missile. So if there would be a green light in the future at some point, so this is a scenario that they're th working through, what are the options in terms of delivering this Taurus? What are the technical sides? What are the, um, you know, um, what are the requirements here? And what effect would this have? Mm. I mean, this has been uh, quite a scandal here in Germany. Uh, can you tell us what kind of political blowback we've seen uh, from this conversation being published? Well, the opposition is framing this in the sense that it is targeting the credibility of the Chancellor Olaf Scholz because over the past few weeks and months, he has refused to send uh, tourist missiles to Ukraine based on the presumption that it would require German soldiers on the ground in Ukraine. Um, the recording, if you listen to it carefully, officials um, actually um, challenge that um, presumption. They actually argue that it is possible to deliver these missiles without German involvement on the ground. And essentially the opposition is asking or is demanding uh, an inquiry into this. And that would answer two things. One, um, how was this even possible? How was this recording, um, you know, how was, how, was, how was the Russian side able to record this meeting? And B, was the Chancellor or is the Chancellor misleading the public when mm. it comes to the delivery of Taurus missiles? And do you think this will have any impact then on Germany's uh, support you for Ukraine and the likelihood of deliveries of those missiles? So when it comes to the support of Ukraine, it won't change anything. Germany is uh, dedicated to supporting Ukraine for as long as it's ta for, for as long as it takes. That's what we keep hearing from German politicians. Um, when it comes to the Taurus, though, we've heard already from Chancellor Scholz that he is, he, he has not changed his mind on this. Um, essentially, there are, he, has, he is concerned about an escalation of the war, and by delivering these weapons, he is concerned that that would make Germany a party in this war. So he is still blocking the delivery of these weapons. Emily, thank you very much for that. That is Emily Gordine.